What's up YouTube, it's your boy Rex Righteous and I'm back with another rap rant. Alright, so uh, we had a couple fights tonight. Uh, Tony Bellew was uh, earlier this morning or in the daytime versus uh, David Hay. Got knocked out 11th round, stoppage. Uh, Polly Malaji, same thing with Sam Angleton. Uh, probably going to retire. He's probably going to retire. Sorry, it's getting late for me. <laughs> I've been out all day though. And I'll probably have some more footage on Adian Boxing and you'll see why. But anyway, uh, I was watching the fight and I liked it. Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman. Uh, I had I was thinking that Danny was going to pull it off. If you see some of my prediction uh, videos, I was thinking that Danny was going to pull it off. But he didn't. So um, now things are going to change for him. Uh, definitely... Uh, a change in the welterweight division uh i thought that danny won on points but i really thought i really thought that uh uh keith won on the psychological war and he looked like a ring general as well but he missed a lot and that's the reason why i squirted for danny the first six rounds i wouldn't say it was a shutout but keith got it and that's the reason why at the end, I had uh, Danny winning five, uh, one five, one one five, for Garcia, one thirteen for Keith Thurman. I can show you my scorecard, no problem. Um, I'm doing this on my iPad because right now, a lot of things going on with my camera, but I wanted to put out a video. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that was my scorecard. You can see that uh, there was a judge that had one fifteen, one thirteen for Garcia. So that's not a big deal. Uh, the big deal is that Keith Thurman won the psychological warfare. And that's not good because then that creates no rematch. I think that it's possible that they could make a rematch. But the problem is if you make a rematch very pissed off and angry, you fall back into Keith Thurman's trap. Which is kind of uh, falls into what Keith Thurman wants. And that's the thing is that uh, he's, he's said it in the past. He's already beat three dads. What else are you going to do? Like, this was his third dad and he beat him. So it's like, you got to come back with something else. He beat him in the ring mentally. Because Danny had the fight. Had a little bit of the fight, but he had a chance. And the way he had a chance was that Danny... Let me put my emblem right there. Danny should have doubled up his shots. And, and, and his corner was telling him that. But he couldn't double up his shots because he said in the press conference, he said that uh, he didn't want to reach in and get hit by the counter punch. Now, if uh, Keith Thurman is moving around like that and he's uh, also being the volume puncher and moving around like that and calling himself, uh, I mean, framing himself as a counter puncher, then you pretty much locked in where... Keith Thurman is the better fighter, and that's what it came down to be. Whether I had Garcia winning on points or not, Keith Thurman turned out to be the better, more educated fighter, and more ready. He had more in the bag, and that's the reason why he won. I'm not pissed off at that. I'm trying to see how he could move on. I would like to see him versus Kell Brook, but hey, does it look like it's going to be easy for Kell Brook? I don't think so. So we have to see how things turn out. I will also like to see him in a rematch versus Sean Porter. He has two titles, and that is why this discussion is a big discussion. Because uh, the World to Weight division is being shifted now as we speak. And this year is obvious it's going to prove that. So a lot to, to discuss on, the, on what could happen after. Uh, like I said, my scorecard was 115-113 for Garcia. Um... If you guys have a scorecard, put it down in the comments. Uh, if you didn't, that's cool. But if you're going to argue with me, I would suggest you have a scorecard because you basically make no sense. And um, I could see why Danny Garcia is mad, but uh, it's not going to do anything. If you check in the press conference, uh, Keith Thurman was saying that he doesn't know who he's going to fight. Obviously, it's because he probably thought that he was going to win. Keith Thurman, that is. He thought that Keith Thurman was going to win. Him, himself, was going to win. 
And um, he thought that probably Angel Garcia or Danny Garcia would want a rematch. But they didn't come off as humble. They came off as very pissed off. They were fired up. They had all these people there in, in, in the MSG. I mean, I'm sorry, at the Barclays Center. And they probably paid a lot of money. And they're probably thinking that they were going to win too. So they're, they're salty. Straight up, they're being salty. So what that management team has to do, uh, Al Heyman or whoever it is, they need to calm Angel down and get him out of the corner because if he's going to be pissed off and he's trying to get Danny to come on a vengeance, that's not going to work. That's going to work in Keith Thurman's... Uh, uh, it's going to work in his ball game. It's going to work to what he does. It's going to work to his favor, I mean to say. But uh, the reason why I say this is because when they ask Keith Thurman... Um, who do you think you're going to face next? Dan Raphael asked. Uh, Keith Thurman was saying he doesn't know. And that, to me, is very telling. You say you don't know, then obviously that means that you were thinking that Angel and Danny would be humbled by this. But obviously there's a lot more at stake. And now Danny is... Looking, uh, Angel told the, the press that he's looking for Danny to retire. He wants him to retire because he's very pissed off with boxing, he said. And he's done with boxing. So, like I said, there's more at stake for Keith. And Danny doesn't see it anymore. He's just like, whatever. You know, he doesn't care. He really doesn't care. He didn't have much of an answer and he thought that he won the fight. So, uh, I want to know what you guys think. I really want to understand what you guys saw. Uh, if you can comment, that'd be dope. If you can like, that'd be dope. If you can share, that'd be dope. You know? Uh, there should be some more things on the ADM Boxing channel. I'm going to be putting some amateur fights up there, some golden gloves, some more interviews. And hopefully I can see what happens in the future. Maybe I can get another interview with Sh Showtime Porter or some more people. Um, but let me know what you guys think, man. It's a very interesting fight very interesting uh, division now and a uh, very interesting uh, outcome could happen by the end of the year if Errol Spence wins it all that would be so crazy but that's what some people are expecting if you think that Keith Thurman won good for you bro because honestly he deserves it and that's how I'm going to end this video regardless of the scorecard I had I'll rewatch it I'll, I'll see what I what I saw before, and I'll and I'll see what I can, what I can rescore and and bring you guys uh, back to uh, this channel. But if anything, let me know what you thought. It's your boy Rex Righteous. Peace.